So, uh, at the end of the day, you all I can say over. is, yeah. Oh, wow. Chico. Hey, Chico. He's, can, he's, can you give us a, yeah. Chico, give us a, yeah. So not grumpy. Quite a, it'll do. Not quite an, yeah, but still, that's a Chico sound. You got, I get, hey, uh, audio, audio aficionados out there. That's a Chico sound. Just, just imitate the Chico sound. I'm, I'm, we're, we're trying to fit him for a sweater. Oh, it's, uh, he's not having it. He's not having it. Absolutely not. I wouldn't have it either. To be fair, though, I, uh, I tried to give him antibiotics earlier, and it's a, it's a liquid, so I have to take the, the syringe and squirt it into his little mouth. Yeah. And you don't uh, like that. Uh, no, and he actually went out of his way. To stop attacking the syringe and try to tear off my pinky. Well, he that's... Was I mean, he was unsuccessful. It's still here. And he didn't actually break the skin. Of course, part of the reason for that is, you know, he... Uh, the reason he's having to have antibiotics is because he broke a tooth and he's probably a little infected. Yeah. But uh, he was not happy. He was not having it. And comparatively, the sweater fitting was a walk in the park. Yeah. Yep. It okay. never was. Well, that's awesome. And he's like, now I'm going to sleep. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going back to sleep right here where I have to be held up. <sighs> All right. Tried so, to move him several times. He won't have it. So, okay. Here's the thing that, uh, here's the thing. Oh, right. We, yeah. Yeah. We, we, we wanted to, we are going back to doing a little bit of John Tron. And we figured we go back to uh, one of his more classic ones. Uh, this one is from, when is this from? 2014. Oh, wow. So actually almost exactly three years ago. Look at that. October 18th, 2014. Yeah. yeah. Just, two, just, just over missed three it by years. a few months. Yeah. Over three years ago. Just over three years ago. Mm-hmm. Amazing. So anyway, John, a.k.a. John Tron, a.k.a. Ekman, Ekman Supreme, a.k.a. Aaron. Seven S's. A.k.a. You go thin out of thin. A.K.A. A.K.A. Mr. A.K.A. Not So Grump. A.K.A. Mr. Lord, I've got the vapors. A.K.A. I ain't having that shit. We're going to just keep doing this, so just start the How video. How about we don't do this? We're watching Clock Tower. We're doing this. Yeah, we're watching John, we're doing Tron, John Tron's Clock Tower review. Here we go. Let's let's see what he's got to say. I like this game. Don't know what anyone else got to say. It's a good game. I think so. Yeah. It's a fun game. Graphically, I thought it was very impressive. Oh, oh, Oops. that's spoopy. Some, some sort of spoop walk slam. Hey, Jack, spooky Jack. Well, also there was the uh, was Mr. Stay Puft. Thank you, uh, Jack. Might want that, to get that checked out. Did that parrot just shoot blood out of its eyes? Yep. Cool. That that music, I love it's that music. October. Come on, play it on me. I'm ready. Get out the Draculas. The Frankensteins. What a the terrible night. With a gun in their hands. Wait, what? Wait, hold on a sec. Maybe scratch that last one. Yeah, I don't think that's the thing. What was that? No. Shadows of the Damned? <coughs> Not the Scissorman. Well, I didn't Saul realize Scissorman? you were going to go in shit. Scissorman! Please stop. Clock Tower. It's a series best known for the game released on the PlayStation 1, but it actually had its start on the SNES, which most people don't know because it was never released outside of Japan. Uh, yep. I've always wanted to try it out, seeing as it is one of the earliest entries into the survival horror genre. Some would say this game pioneered survival horror, but can an SNES game elicit the same kind of terror we associate with such titles as Resident Evil and Silent Hill? Okay, Somehow there's not a whole lot of terror in Resident Evil. Let's, let's be real. Terrified this thing is never gonna end. I mean, you gotta you gotta build atmosphere, but uh... wait. Clock towel? That's not very scary. Oh God! Raised in the granite orphanage, Jennifer and her friend friend Z. Ooh, typos already getting scary. Were wanted as adopted daughters. Yes, I'd like to adopt the two of them like puppies from a kennel. After all, anything can be bought and sold for the right oil. Ew. 
it in this economy? In September. Oh, oh, a bit of a missed opportunity, if I'm saying so myself. I mean, the scary much just won over. Eh. Oh, that's the one! From now on, what kind of Cold? place will we be living in? That's the fifth time you've asked. Yeah, well, maybe it'd be the last time if you just fucking told me. Don't worry, it's a very nice place. We're almost there, see? Uh, Gary? Or majestic. Yeah, you know, all that's missing, I think, is just a big old sign saying definitely not haunted. I, I think that'll be an amazing touch. In Clock Tower, you play as Jennifer Simpson, an orphan girl who has just been adopted by a Mr. Barrows. The story picks up that you've just been brought to a secluded and creepy mansion. <laughs> Mr. Barrows. Great. I've gotta go get Mr. Barrows. Everyone, wait here. <laughs> very, very anime. I respect it. You think you can maybe give me an ETA on that? Man, this game sure is off to a slow start. Oh no! That can't be good. A musical change like that can only mean one thing. I gotta get out of here. Gameplay. I'm gonna be the first to die. I'll tell you that much right now. Ah, locked doors, huh? I don't know where to go. Oh, wonderful. The lights went out. Okay, well. Gameplay. I guess I'll just try to go up these stairs. Even though it's gonna take my entire goddamn life. Okay, yeah. That's the scary part. Okay, I actually played a ROM hack where the oh, walking the is the a lot faster. On. It's almost like we got somewhere. You mean like say, uh, this gaming, there really was nothing with this Castlevania kind of too. Atmosphere. Almost. Most horror competitors at the time were just platformers or action games that had spooky themes. Nothing quite got to this level. What? Yeah, what was that? Well, I better hurry and see who just made that blood-curdling scream. Oh no, I was too late. Maybe I should have ran. The game works on a cursor system. It's basically like a point-and-click adventure. I eventually found out that if you double-tap, she starts to run, which is nice, because otherwise I'd be walking everywhere like that. As you walk around the mansion, crazy events can happen at random, which keeps the tension high. Okay, guess I'm glad I was walking this time. Honestly, the lack of a direct input on your character helps add to the feeling of helplessness. It's pretty cool. Oh, yes. There's nothing like a portrait of a skull with no eyes to really bring a home together. This is actually an uh, original Vincent Van Gogh. People don't come over anymore. I thought Vincent Van Gogh, fuck yourself. The game also brings it yeah, it's about right. showing really detailed close-ups of the items you find. Like, look at this broken picture of these two kids. The artwork is fantastic. So much terror is portrayed through this angle and lighting, especially for 16-bit graphics. That's, it's yeah, genuinely it's pretty good. Yeah, very good. Well, just because I'm being haunted doesn't mean I can't be beautiful. I'm being strangled by uh, the man the mirror. Gary. Deb? You died. Dead. Uh, Dark At Souls least voice he had died. the decency to be delicate. You know what I'm saying? Like some ghosts nowadays, too busy to, to float an old lady across the street. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't think I can get over this yet. He spins her around and gently pushes her after he's done strangling her. And she just daintily falls. What even? Well, fine. If you're not going to be nice, I'll just have myself a refreshing talk with the bird. Oh God! Nope. Jack. Stop. Are you talking to me? Are you saying something? I kiss you. I kiss you. I'll get I'm near you. you. I'll kill you. Not now, Jacques. I'm trying to figure this out. Ah, oh, you messed me up. Dead from lack of addiction. I'll get you. I'm getting a bit sick of these dead ends. I just want the plot to progress already. Dead end. Yes. Speaking of plot progressing. Uh. Here he comes. How about them downstabs? Oh, it's a leprechaun. That's terrifying. No, it's a flea man. It is. Oh my god, I am out of here. But then again, that did look like a bit like Angus Young. But then again, his signature doesn't mean anything if I'm dead. But you know, I'm a huge ACDC fan, so I think I'm gonna check one more time just to make sure it wasn't him. What is this person? Is this? It's a flea man. The most hated villains of Castlevania. This turns out to be Jay Leno in a schoolboy's body with a serious case of moldy prune face. And what's he using as a weapon exactly? That, that, that's hedge clippers. I mean, we're not getting around this. Jason had a machete. Freddy had a creepy claw hand. Scissor man? He's got scissors. That's it. That's the end. Uh, I wonder if, um, scissor hands. I wonder if RE7, the hand. father's weapon, I wonder if it's a callback oh, to that. His motorized oh, scissors. Yeah. Maybe. His chainsaw shears or whatever. No, even better. I'll hide up here. <laughs> hey, 
ain't no way his stubby legs are climbing up his ladder. Ha <laughs> ha That's right! See you later, buddy. What? Hi! Gotcha. Ha ha! Gary! Alright, let's try this again. This time, going straight for the car. No messing around. The upstairs? Okay, bad idea. Death. I can see that now. Car, made of steel. Let's go. But the others... There are Fuck you. it. As silly as he is, after Scissorman hits the scene, this game becomes ten times as scary. Every room becomes a trap. Every object becomes a game of deadly trial and error. He can appear literally anywhere ah, at any time. That's so you better awesome. Be careful because game over is back to the beginning, like it is with these old games. That's almost scarier than the monsters. Other random things can happen too. Okay, well, this is unfortunate. Now I gotta play the rest of the game as pig pun pretend for the pe for the peanuts. Picked up some ham. Bruh. This will kill him. You just get you gotta go ham on him. Wait, isn't he Jewish? Actually, that's no, he's, a he's a rat. Uh, oh, okay. Hole in the floor. We meet again. I guess I'll just put this simple wood plank over the top of it. Just a simple plank of wood. Wait, somebody took the time to program that in there? Yep. With everything this game does right, it still suffers from a lot of hiccups that old point and click adventures do. For instance, like when you think you figured out the solution to a puzzle, but the game has decided that that is not the way the puzzle is going to be solved. Which, of course, leads to you having to backtrack and yep. put a piece of ham in your pocket or something. Just some obscure, tiny object that you can Scrub no items to. over All other the items. The side of the map is the key to progressing. Wouldn't it be funny if someone were, like, hiding behind the drapes like it was a horror movie or something? All right! Ah! Really? There! Scissorman, what, what are you, fucking seven? Actually, I think you actually you are seven, aren't you? All right, checks out. Okay, well, maybe I'll just see what's behind nope, these nope, drapes. Nope. It couldn't be worse than that nightmare-inducing shit. It's worse! <laughs> okay, that was dumb. Well, can I start therapy now? And a waste of perfectly good seven. candy corn, you motherfucker. The There's nothing good about candy corn, except, except, you. except sticking on your teeth so you look like a vampire. I like candy corn. <laughs> Too much. For some reason. Too much. Oh, is he going in the gears? Listen, even if you don't like the sound of bells, that was just a very poor route to take. Also, this lady backs off a cliff because some birds are bothering her. Uh, Wait, so is Scissorman bolts. dead? Remember that powerful scene from Maybe. Star Wars where Emperor Maybe. Palpatine backed off into the nebulous void because he was annoyed with some birds? I still cry. <laughs> Listen, like this, next if time, you cry, you're getting time. adopted. I'm dead inside forever now. <laughs> Man, Wasn't that the lady that fell through the window? I almost believed it was real, but uh, it's all mistake. Depends, depends on, depends on which ending you get. There's a way, there's a way uh, up to three of the girls can live, including you. Wait. Oh. Wait a second. Scissors don't actually What's exist. This? But that's impossible. If scissors don't exist, how did someone clip out this article? It can't be. Oh, crap! Chucks. Oh. oh! That is deeply unpleasant. Looks like you're out to lunch. Gross. <laughs> As was that Wait a second. Why do I have a gun holster? I don't have a gun. I got a bone! I got pickle with you! <laughs> People that haven't come over in, in several years. That was the last man, and he's dead now. <laughs> Happy month of Halloween! Folks. And Thanks just, for just the smash cut. If you want to help support the show, smash cut to a bleach white skeleton. The ultimate punchline. <laughs> and this month, I'm going to recommend to you, aptly so, The Shining narrated by Campbell Scott. And like I said, I got a second mouth to feed. This guy over here is basically skin and bones. Seriously. Or maybe He's just bones. <laughs> Smash cut to bleached white skeleton is the greatest punchline. This guy at the store was labeled as pumpkin with face. <laughs> Disturbing. Know, I think there's a little bit more going on here than pumpkin with face. <laughs> Lord, I've got the vapors. <laughs> a 
Okay, so Clock Tower. What a game. What a game. Uh, that, was legit- that was legitimately creepy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think little, I, I think I, I remember see di- Scissorman in a dark alley. I think I remember seeing someone do like a top ten, and this they use Scissorman from the PlayStation version as one of like top ten creepiest video game like survival oh, horror he was, game oh, villains. He was good. He was really good. Um, there've actually been talk of Nintendo remaking, you know, uh, actually Nintendo remaking the original, and and putting it on the putting it on the Switch, and actually having and actually have. Uh, what's ah uh, damn, and actually like have it to where instead of it being point and click, it's more it's more three D three D action. Mm-hmm. That would be a super creepy like VR thing. I mean, oh dude, now, now that's if, going on. If we could just get the original Fatal Frame, right? Oh man, Jacob would absolutely lose his mind. Original Fatal Frame. Yep. What a game. We've we've tried to find it. We want to play it, but. uh where i don't know where where, where, where? indeed <laughs> yep. so clock ta- there actually was a uh, clock tower was actually about to be made into a movie at one point really? uh and they actually had a, they actually like had a cast and they had a lot going on and then all of a sudden for some odd reason somebody pulled the plug on it see i would like to see more horror movies inspired by like survival horror games that already have great atmosphere because most horror movies are just trash they, yeah, I mean yeah, they, they make movie or they make money, but they're not good. They, it's cheap thrills yeah, money, not. No. Oh yeah, that's it. Pretty much is. Yeah, pretty much is. That's huh. it's totally just the flea man from uh, Castlevania with I scissors. I don't that, like that him. little so, dude. Is terrifying. Yeah, yeah so, I, okay. flea men are the worst. Uh, here's here's one thing. The worst. Have, that, um, one thing He's that a lot canceled. of horror movies are lacking nowadays is atmosphere. Yep. Like you're like you're you're correct. Atmosphere plays a big part into it. And for me, that's why I felt the new It movie did so good is because its atmosphere that it built was really good. Even though a lot of people had seen the original, the the feel of the film was just so much more like like just so much more visceral. Mm-hmm. It's so much and like like it had a lot more spontaneity to it like literally the clown could come out of nowhere and kill you. That's what I I felt that mm-hmm. from from the uh, you know from everything that was in it. But honestly, I uh, Clock Tower. I you know what I might try and talk Jacob into doing a let's play of that. That would be great. You know I can throw that on the uh, NES Classic like that. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, yeah. Also, so, also, but, and you know that Jacob would sign up for it immediately well yeah because he's jacob and jacob jacob loves horror games it, jacob adores that's his jam. the horror the whole yeah. actually you know that's what we could call him the horror adorer i mean, I, mean I, I feel like that's the culture that produced him right i mean where do goblins come from really yeah I mean, it's, yeah micah you joke but oh boy but he, could i tell you stories oh yes jacob the goblin we, he's not a goblin no you've seen him on camera goblin like creature he is a person who loves horror games. He is a persona. I mean, anyway, you'll never see it. you'll never see it coming. So uh, this was Clock yeah. Tower by John Tron. Yes, it was, and uh, um, it 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 smash cut to a bleached white skeleton, so. which is and the John Tron. So you that know, was correct. The, the best punchline yes. ever of all time. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. <laughs> If you want to see, uh, if you want to see the original, uh, link in the description down below. Check out John Tron's channel; the guy's very funny. Also, don't forget to check out our various other endeavors, including our uh, Patreon and our Discord. And uh, yeah, I guess that's gonna do it. So, uh, signing off for the Renegades. I'm Nate. I'm Ben. I'm Elena. Micah. And this is Chico. Yes. And Love we will. Rumpiest. And we will see you later, everyone. Peace out. Bye. Bye. Thank you.